Isn't it heartbreaking when little children have to battle with recurring infections constantly? Eight-year-old Maya was one such child who often woke up with a fever, sore throat, swollen gums, and painful ulcers in her mouth. She suffered from this since the age of three months. The infections were cyclic in nature, recurred every three weeks, and lasted for six to ten days. Maya's dental radiograph during this time revealed alveolar bone destruction. This video discusses the hidden enemy that Maya struggles with, a condition called cyclic neutropenia. What is cyclic neutropenia? Our body's warriors against infection are the white blood cells, with neutrophils being a particularly important type. Cyclic neutropenia takes these neutrophils on a roller coaster ride, causing their levels to fluctuate. Sometimes they are high and strong, but other times they drop low, leaving the person suffering from neutropenia vulnerable to illnesses. Cyclic neutropenia can cause a variety of symptoms beyond fever and throat infections, as Maya experienced. These can include skin abscesses, lung infections, urinary tract infections, rectal and vaginal ulcers, lymphadenopathy, gangrene, and septicemia leading to septic shock. Moving on to the oral manifestations. Cyclic neutropenia affects the mouth in two main ways, just like Maya experienced. The first is oral ulcers, which commonly appear on the buccal mucosa, tongue, and upper lip. These ulcers often resemble large, deep, and potentially scarring major aphthous ulcers. The second is periodontal disease, which can range from gingivitis to severe bone loss around the teeth. As a dentist, when should one suspect cyclic neutropenia? Patients with recurring major aphthous ulcers or generalized rapidly advancing periodontitis that cannot be explained by local factors are to be suspected with cyclic neutropenia. Suspicion should be particularly high when children are involved. To confirm or rule out cyclic neutropenia, a blood test is needed. This test typically involves a series of three total white blood cell counts and differential white blood cell counts taken per week for four to six weeks. This helps identify the characteristic fluctuation in neutrophil levels associated with cyclic neutropenia. Moving on to the dental management. To ensure Maya gets optimal dental care, her dentist advises her to make regular dental visits every two to three months. She gets her white cell count taken on the day of her dental checkup. The dentist treats her only if the absolute neutrophil count is above 2000 per millimeter cube. Maya also diligently maintains oral hygiene. In severe cases, the use of colony stimulating factors reduces oral ulcers and periodontal diseases. We now understand that dentists can play a crucial role in optimizing oral hygiene and preventing infections during periods of low neutrophil count. Working together with the physician and educating the patient about meticulous oral care routines can help them maintain good oral health despite the underlying condition. We have now come to the end of this video. Hope you had fun learning with us.